my 7-iron versus a Wilson 7-iron. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to Cost Golf Centre, myself Joe Lavery. Today I'm in the downstairs AT performance and I'm answering the age old, age old question, does length matter? Um, so in this case, on about golf clubs, get your mind out the gutter. So I was saying, so I've got my 7-iron versus a Wilson 7-iron. So the Wilson 7-iron, as you can see, is four inches longer than standard. So does this club go further than my 7-iron or does, because this is shorter and technically I should strike it better, does my 7-iron go further than the extended 7-iron? Let's find out. So here I am now with this club and it is 4 inches longer than standard. And I don't know if you can see, but it feels longer than my driver. This thing is outrageous. So let's give it a try then. Does it go any further than my 7-iron? I'm really worried about the strike on this. That has gone so far. <laughs> okay, sit one more. It's so uncontrollable though. How high is it going, Joe? Oh my god. <laughs> That's a, dispersion's pretty good. I'm quite impressed. This thing though, honestly, it feels like a driver. I couldn't imagine hitting like a four iron or something that's this long. Okay, they're all right next to each other. <laughs> I think we need to have a look at some data. I'm amazed how like the dispersion there is so tight. Let's have a look. So I have the data here. As you can see, four inches longer has come out on top, meaning longer is better in terms of shaft length on a golf club. So, 208 yards carry with a 7-iron. That is outrageous for me compared to my 188 to 189. And you see it's gone out to 209. Now, the reason why this has happened, which is a little bit strange, I wasn't expecting it, smash factor was higher with the extended 7-iron. So I don't know if it's because it's not fitted to me or if the spin's lower, why? But it is just, I'm striking it better, um, which makes me think maybe I bought the wrong irons. Maybe I should have gone four inches longer. Uh, but no, but genuinely, it does, you just don't feel like you have any control. So there is a fine line between your balance of control um, with length and then also the overall distance you hit the shot. And that's why custom fitting sometimes is so important to make sure that you get the right length of club for you because I wouldn't realistically be able to play around a golf with this, whereas I can sort of play around a golf with these. Um, and that's, you know, that's kind of the whole idea behind this, behind this video. You can see that the club head speed is dramatically up about six miles an hour. So that's just from the length of shaft. And then you can see the ball speed there is then up about eight miles an hour, which obviously is resulting in all extra distance. Um, but I mean, the flight's completely uncontrollable. You ask me to hit a shot with that, I, I genuinely wouldn't be able to. You know, if you were like, oh, low draw, I wouldn't be able to do it. But guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you like this content, if you see more of this content. Um, make sure you check out our website at AT Golf Coaching. We're also on Instagram and Twitter. Um, please subscribe. See you soon. Thanks.